Hey guys, welcome back. Screen Reaper with another video for Edge Shadows. And today we have a um, Hydro video for Hard. And we're going to be looking at a couple of things for that. So let's get into this. And um, we're going to show you the run first. I'm going to put the thing on for two times speed. And then we'll get into the builds and everything else after that.
Okay, so um, let's go into champions then and see what we got. Um, so we're going to start off with the legendaries, I think. Uh, Verbal Carp, one of three legendaries that we use today. Uh, we did use three legendaries, and the two legendaries that I used were Formal Fusion, so I'm hoping a lot of people can. Uh, have them but also they can be replaced really easily so for example um, Virgo card can be replaced with any DPS that's tap based like Trunda, um, Cupidus, uh, Ninja, any of these champions or even epic versions of that and Mephala is obviously free she's not replaceable so you know once you've got your Mephala from normal then you could then look at this as a potential one key solution um, and then uh, we'll talk about the replacement as well for the tanks as well but how we've built our Verbicarve is with a accuracy banner, uh, critical damage and attack now I look for some HP as well for survivability and I tried looking for good um, critical damage as well just because it's Hydra base, uh, I want, I've aimed for this as well because in the day he still has good multipliers in A2 and A3. His attack is a bit low at 4.1, but with increased attack from um, from Thingy, that it seems to from Mafala it seems to be way better. So these are the masteries he's gone with. Four master is really important. Life drinker is nice for the healing, and then. Cycle of Violence just to uh, get it back round. Master Hex uh, to extend the poisons uh, as well. I don't think it works on the bombs. Uh, it looks like it. No, it doesn't work on bombs, but it just work on the poisons. And then this is just there as well to do its own thing. Obviously, Brimstone is a five star. We do have uh, the blessing, which is really nice. But in the day, you only need the. Um, you only need brimstone one star, you don't really need everything else. Um, and then obviously you want good accuracy as well to land your buffs. So that is the one champion. Uh, again, he can be replaced with any DPS champion. Um, but at the moment, seeing as a fusion, I feel like a lot of people do have him. I do feel like he's a solid champion. Uh, four was a bit of a, a, a fusion long time ago, a lot of people didn't really go for him but he's still a great champion and he's easily replaced but at the moment he's a top class uh, provoke champion for DK but as well as um, deal with mischief as well as uh, the stun target as well, so not stun target, the bait for mischief so you want good re resistance and accuracy to do that role and ideally blood shield as well which will give you a bit more he has a provoke here and he has a provoke here as well with aoe leech and strengthen and then he has got shields here you could turn this off and go in between the two but generally if mischief goes down and he doesn't come back up i do generally do use this um, especially and also with dk as well so that's one thing to kind of look out not the best champion in the world but it can be replaced very easily Cycle of Violence is really important. Spirit Haste is nice. Um, Master Hex is for the Leech. Uh, Law Steel is nice and Life Drinker. And again, War Master. And if you can get Brimstone, that would be nice. We don't have it, unfortunately. He has an Ice Aura as well. So we've got a Resistance Banner. You can go Resistance or Accuracy. We have HP and HP for survivability. I haven't worried about damage at all. Just worried about Accuracy, Resistance, and Good Speed. Um, so 224, I think the, the boss is like 220 mischief, so you want to be faster mischief. ID the slowest as well. Um, we've got good accuracy, good resistance, uh, defense is, is fine, and and then good HP. Uh, more small champions could do his role. Krisk is obviously first choice. Uh, Negmo could also do it if you have a provoke set on him. Um, Skull Lord is, is a common choice. Cantra is also very common. Um, Molly, 
soulless anyone that can really provoke as well is, is really nice to have that but also to put out the box as well um, so that is worth to point out um, and then we got a Mafala which you would know which is part of my dragon run if you're not seeing the dragon run on dragon 10 then I do check it out we also use this build in spider 10 as well um, so yeah more welcome to check that out as well on my channel I'll ping them at, at the back of the video again uh, we have thingy but no war master war master would help for damage but we do have brimstone she does land poisons and hex it does really help for damage as well as well as the cleanse of strengthen and think she can actually work as um, a mischief tank as well for herself and it's really easy to build her if you've got good accuracy and resistance so good speed good defense good resistance so hp and an accuracy and then you do kind of use accuracy aura as well so if you can build two uh, base for mischief it just makes it a little bit safer um, it's not not like everyone has a gear for that but some people can and she's really easy to build for that you do need blood shield as well on her just to make it a bit safer um, out of one of these threes just so she has an extra buff and then mischief is more likely to target her um, after that again Ursula she's great she can be the mischief tank we have no masteries on her which is amazing that means she can have more damage uh, the blessing I kind of just went with um, chain breaker for extra defense HP and accuracy uh, you don't need accuracy if you have an AOE tap down already but it is nice to get it she does bring a tap down attack up as well and then the A1 is the A1 the arrive is uh, really situational so you need to be careful uh, we've gone for a regen set because she's quite squishy and a mortar set as well so again good speed good defense good hp and good accuracy is the, f the main stats i cared about you could build resistance in as well but i think if you start building in too many stats you could cause yourself a problem and die she's very easy to kill she's not the best uh, champion for that then we have our one and only uh, Yugo. If you don't have Yugo, you're kind of screwed. She is the best at her job. You can use champions like uh, Umbro with AOE block buffs, Mighty um, UK as well could work. Uh, he's weak affinity on a few heads, this rotation, that's why I'm not really be using him. And I also run him in Brutal as well. Uh, no masteries on her as well, so we're missing masteries on two of them. So it's really easy to up your damage if you really wanted to. And then a Geomancer, so again, Geomancer can be replaced with any HP Burn champion, really. Um, at AoE, HP Burn is nice to have, and the HP Burn is really good for certain things. We've got Pantheon Touch as a, as a blessing, I don't think it really does anything, and it's all about this and the passive. You can go with re Reflection or Relentless as long as you can get stats. This is just the one that I use in Twin Tower, so it's nothing special. Um, you don't need as much accuracy, but you do want the speed as well. It also brings a decreased accuracy on A2 as well, to be bad in mind. We have Warmaster here below, and then we have Cycle of Violence, and then we also have Hexer as well to stand that HP burn for three turns if we can. Uh, and then bits of bobs on. So, um, I'm pretty sure that's all the champions. Uh, not much to it. Yeah, it's not really a manual auto team, unfortunately, because Geo and um, Geo and the other champions are not the best for that. So, it's a bit of a miss, but it is what it is. Um, hopefully, you guys like this. Uh, video please remember to comment like and subscribe really just help support channel and me to keep making videos on a daily basis again i really hope you like this video and i'll see you on the next one peace out